The problem with autism parents sharing the struggles of raising autistic children is not that they are sharing struggles, it is who they are blaming these struggles on. Many of these threads and tweets and videos online and articles all focus on how much their lives would be improved if their child were not disabled. Therefore, placing the blame on the child's disability, something that child did not ask for, something that that child cannot change about themselves. It's like blaming the stigma of being a parent of an LGBTQ person on the fact that the child was LGBTQ. I wouldn't have to deal with all this stigma if my child weren't gay. No, you wouldn't have to deal with the stigma if you fought the system that created it. These children and their disabilities are not to blame for these struggles. The real people that are to blame is the system. The system that underfunds medical intervention, the system that underfunds disability assistance, the system that underfunds social services. These parents are abandoned by this system and yet they choose to blame and resent their children for needing the services to begin with. Even if their child was not autistic, there was a risk that this could happen. What happens if your child is severely injured in a playground accident? That child becomes disabled for the rest of their lives. Do you blame the child for being disabled? No. Do you blame yourself for having a child? No. Blame the system that leaves you behind. This is the biggest issue with autism parents or grievance parents as a whole. There was an article I read this morning by Shannon Desrochus Rosa. Apologies for butchering the pronunciation of your name. The article titled, Grievance-Based Parent Organizations Are Autism's MAGA Movement. And it is so true because these grievance parents have every privilege to be able to take the system to task and instead fight the disability, not the system leaving them behind. They fight autistic advocates like myself for saying your words hurt us, your words hurt your child, instead of asking, why did I not have the support I needed to be able to mitigate this risk of having a disabled child? This is what frustrates me about autism grievance parents. More than any of us, you have the power to change the system. You guys make sure that you are on boards of these nonprofit organizations. You have the ability to be your children's voices as you claim you are. Yet where is the demand for more justice for you within the system? Why focus on creating profound autism labels or severe autism labels? Why focus so hard on being able to say my child ruined my life instead of being able to put forth the legislation necessary to say, no, my child deserves the same life as every other child in this system. The lack of understanding that autistic people are human too absolutely baffles me from these people. It is hard. It is very hard when you are in an emotional mind to place blame where it belongs. But I urge you to seek out support groups that will help you refocus where the blame belongs. Stop blaming your children for being born. Blame the system that abandoned you.